we are told use the figure of the rhombus. Here we have this rhombus here, which is just a quadrilateral, something with four sides, where all the lengths of the four sides are the same. And we can see that they are all one and two tenths meters. And they're asking us, what is the perimeter of the rhombus? So pause this video and have a go at it. Well, the perimeter of any figure is how far is it if you were to go around the outside of the figure? Or in this case, it would be the sum of the length of all of these sides. So you could say that the perimeter is one and two tenths plus one and two tenths plus one and two tenths. I think you see where this is going, plus one and two tenths. You could do it like that. Or you could just say, hey, look, I have four of these one and two tenths. I'm adding them all together. This is going to be the same thing as four times one and two tenths. And then here, we could either say that this is going to be the same thing as four times one plus two tenths. And then we distribute this four, which is going to be four plus four times two tenths is going to be eight tenths. Four plus eight tenths, which is the same thing as four and eight tenths, which is the same thing as four and four fifths meters. Another way we could have done it is we could have rewritten one and two tenths as the same thing as 12 tenths. Four times 12 tenths is going to be 48 tenths which is the same thing as four and eight tenths, which is the same thing as four and four fifths.